Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today what we're going to work on is some of those larger scrapbook paper scraps. Now, this these were 12 by 12s, and this is some paper that I have used a ton of, and I still have quite a bit in my collection, so I wanted to do something with them. So I have cut these down. As you can see, here are my remnants, and I will use these for tags and things. I have cut these down to 8 by 8 and this is something that Natasha from Treasure Books had done. And I'm not going to do mine exactly like hers. I'm going to do mine more where we can use them in our journals. But she, I will link her video below. She made a beautiful accordion album out of it. And I want you to go over there and check that out. And let her know that we sent you. So on this, we're going to take the 8x8. Eight eight. Now you can make these any size. All you need to have is a square so I think she had made about three different sizes on her channel so you're gonna fold it one way to make this and then the other way you're not really gonna fold you're just going to put the tips together and then you're gonna bring that down and just pinch it a little bit to get your center there now you could do that or you could take a ruler and just measure it and then get your center that way. Um, you could just take your Tim Holtz ruler, measure that out and find your center. I find that's a little bit easier just pinching it and that's what Natasha had done too. I've, been, I've done that for years. I don't like to measure as you guys know. I can measure but I don't like to. Now, I go ahead, just because my eyesight is not the best in the world, I go ahead and I put a little uh, marker there just to show me where the center is. Now, you're going to take this corner. This is just like some of the origami folding that we have done before, but this is not going to be exactly, not going to be hard. You're going to fold that in. Make sure your point is right on that center. And then you're going to do the same here. Make sure the point is right on the center mark. And the same over here. And I just burnish as I go in that way. It just makes it a little bit quicker. See, we're making an envelope, aren't we? Look at that envelope. Then this one, you're going to do the same thing. Bring that point up to that center mark. Well, if mine will stay right it just keeps pushing itself back. You don't want to go in there like that. So then you've got something that looks like this. And you think, what in the world are we going to do with that that we can use in our journal? You're going to take the two flaps that don't have the crease in them. See, these have that little crease where we folded. These two don't. So take this flap that doesn't have the crease, pull those out, and then you're going to fold this down. And then we're going to crease it again. Now this is where Natasha took these and she made a few of them and then she glued these together to make her little accordion. So you could stop here and you could use these in your journal just like they are. You could glue this on the, let's just say this is one of our journal pages. You could glue that on the edge of your journal or just clip it there and you could have little pockets here, oops, little pockets here and then that could fold back over to have like a little secret pocket or you could just take it and clip it on the edge if you wanted to. And if I was going to do that I would probably glue down through here, down through here and I'd have me another tuck pocket there. Alright, I'm going to take another and I'm going to fold it again. Just like I did that one, same way. Okay, and then just start folding to the center. Now the two pieces that don't have the crease in them, that one has the crease, 
fold those out and then you're going to fold this crease down just like that and then I like to crease it again and like I said this is where Natasha took this one and this one and she put these little things right there the little flaps together and she glued those okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take these two flaps and we're going to glue them together like natasha did but we're going to use ours a little bit differently we're not going to make a whole little journal we're going to glue these together and then we're going to make something that's going to go inside our journal so put that glue on there like that okay what I did is I took the flaps the two little flaps there that's the way it was I pulled those flaps together and I just glued right up through here and down through here and if you flip it over that leaves let me grab a scrap to put down in here that leaves a pocket right here so you've got a pocket there and then you can flip it back over and these are going to get glued down here. So I just glue these down here. On. And you can glue them all the way. You can also stitch this if you want. But I'm just going to glue those down there. Lift those up because you don't want to glue those sides down. Glue that one down there. And then this one you can choose which, whatever way you want to put it to glue it down. Let's just see. I like it that way better. So just press that one down. Okay, and then we want to glue this one. Okay, so now you have something that looks like this. So you've got pockets here, right there and right there. You've got a hidden pocket there in that one. And then you've got pockets here and here. And now what you can do, you can leave it like this and just clip it in your journal if you want. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to run it right at the edge, right there. That one. And then I'm going to put those two edges together. So I've got another pocket there. I'm not going to pull on it because it's not the glue hasn't dried, but I've got another pocket there and then I'm going to do the same thing here. So I've got another pocket on this one. And this is not what Natasha made. She did start out with this same design but uh, this is inspired by her she didn't she didn't make this she made an accordion but I'm, I want to make something that will go inside our journals and accordions really want but if you wanted to use this to make a little journal then you could do that I'm just going to clip that right there until it dries well so you'll have a pocket there, a pocket in the middle, and then a pocket there. Now the pocket in the middle is going to be kind of small because, you know, that's where your little triangle is glued together. But these two are going to be large. But when they dry well, we'll open that up and you'll be able to see. Now these on the side, they're going to be a good size pocket that you can put some things in. So see, you can tuck something down in there like that. And we'll make some little tags for these. As soon as everything dries well and the pocket there and a pocket here and if all of this was stitched around before you glued it together it would look really really cool now you also have a little pocket that opens up in here and it just kind of opens like that and like I said I'm not gonna pull on that too much because my sides are not glued together well yet as a matter of fact I'm gonna clip this side too just so I don't end up pulling it apart but when you get it glued well you'll see that you have a pocket in there and that's kind of a big open one where you could tuck all kinds of good stuff down in there 
So I'm going to, again, just make sure that I've got this glued together well. Okay, and then you have pockets on the inside here. So you have a pocket here, a pocket over here, a pocket over here, and one over here. So you've got four pockets in there, you've got four pockets on the outside, and then you're going to have three pockets there. And that is all out of two 8x8 eight eight sheets of paper. So I've got one that's just a single one. You could do just a single if you wanted. So let's glue these down right here. I'm just going to glue that one down to the inside. And if you have some thin paper, gluing these down really helps that paper. If, you have, if you're doing this with just uh, digitals or something, that helps a lot to strengthen that paper. So now you have those glued down and you have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket there, a pocket there. And then we'll run a little glue up through here. And then you'll have another pocket there. There you go. Now you could stitch these two and that would be really good because if you stitch down these sides, you know that that's not going to come apart, but you could glue it just as well. It doesn't matter. Whichever one you have access to. So I'll clip these again, just to, because there is a little pressure there, just to let them dry a little bit. So we'll lay that one down. All right, let's get another piece. Okay, let's try making one out of this. This is Betty's new digital. She's got some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful papers in here. And this is her latest digital. So I think I'm going to use this one. And we're just going to cut these sides off and then I'm going to use this to try to make one and make it where this outside shows. Because a lot of you say you want to use digitals and that is fine. You can use those. So we, we're just going to see how this works. I, have to get my, I don't know why I use this paper trimmer. I should have known I'm going to have to get the big one out because that won't cut the biggest long line here. So we're going to cut this. Cut that little white off right there. And then do the same on this side. Okay, now we want to cut this down to 8 inches, so I'm just going to decide, I think I want this side to stay. I want both sides, but can't have both if I'm going to cut it down to 8 inches, can I? Now, the cutting is important. Make sure you cut it as straight as you possibly can. Look at that. Beautiful belly band or tag. Okay. I will link Betty's collection below, and I think she still has the discount code for you guys as well. So you can go over and check that out. And it doesn't look like I cut that exactly square, does it? You can always tell when you fold that up if you've got it squared up or not. But, you know, that depends on your printer. If your printer pulls the paper in a little bit more on one side than it does the other, then your paper is not going to be square and when you cut those little edges off you may not get it exactly squared up but that's okay we can do it that way not a problem okay now you're going to open this up and you're going to fold that over and then just pinch that center right there and then i go ahead and i put my little cross mark there just so I can see. Then we're just going to go ahead and start folding this up. Fold all of your corners and I fold my two sides first or my two, this piece and this piece first, opposite sides I should say. Just, just so that I can see that I'm getting them close to the center. And then this one, you're going to fold that up like that. And this one, bring it to the center. 
fold it up like that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> that is beautiful. Okay, then I go over all of my score lines. Okay, we're going to bring these two sides out. I'm going to fold that over. Like that. Okay, just like that. Then you're going to, I open it back up just so that I don't glue these pieces down. You're going to glue these two down so that all of your paper is going to be on the outside and you're not going to see any of this white. So fold that down, press it in. Do the same over here. Then these are going to fill back up and it's going to sit like that. And there's your little pockets. Isn't that sweet? Okay. Now we're going to, and I think I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and just stitch these two sides. Like I said, you can glue them, but I think I'm just going to go and stitch real quick just so I can see what it looks like. Okay, we've got that stitched. And trim my strings here and see now no matter how much I pull on that right there it's not gonna come loose so you can glue and if you glue go ahead and clip your glued pieces here on the side so that you can make sure that that stays glued together well but if you don't want to glue you can stitch and what I would do before I did my stitching and before I put all of this down is I would go in and make sure that I inked these edges because if you ink them then you can see your pockets better because you know that kind of get, comes together right there and you can't really see your pockets so I would definitely go in and I would ink all of this before I pulled anything any of the sides together that is so pretty I will use these a ton in my journals. I just like how they look and I like the flexibility of them. So thank you Natasha for the inspiration. I appreciate that. And you guys can go over and check her channel out and see what she made by attaching a bunch of these together in a long line. So look at that. Isn't that cute? And we can make some little tags to go down in there. As a matter of fact, we could probably use this to make some little tags with. Let's see. Let's try another one. I want to use that for a belly band. I really do because it's so pretty. Let's see what she has here. And I will, I'll just show you the whole collection. I might as well. There. That one. That one. That. that pretty mm. I just love the purples and blues and yellows together they go so well and I think does this go with it Betty or am I do I have two collections here <laughs> yes I think this goes with it let's see I think those little tags would be too big and then she also gives you some background pages that you can print on the back as well so let's see I know these little tags will be too big to go in there and I don't want to waste those by using them by cutting them down but these would probably work perfect in there but I don't think I'm gonna use them and the reason being is this is so florally already if I put tags in there that's real it's got a lot of floral patterns on them they're going to get lost so I think I'll cut some tags out of this and what I'm going to do I'm going to do what I don't like to do and I'm going to measure well maybe I won't because I can't find my there it is okay this is going to be let's just make them four and a half yeah let's make them four and a half by 
um, we can go to two and a half, four and a half by two and a half. Let's do that. And I want my two and a half to go this way. So now we got to come up with a name to this. That is not four and a half. I'm so dorky. That is two and a half, Edith. Two and a half. I thought that looked awful big. Two and a half. And then this way we're going to make them. Let's just make them two and a half by two and a half. That'll work. I kept thinking four and a half seems awful big for that. You know, some days, some days, two and a half. See what that does. Oh yeah, and then round those corners, or at least this one, that would be cute. So let's do another one that's two and a half. So that's an easy size to remember. Two and a half, two and a half. Okay, let's flip this around. Oh, look at that, I like that purple in there. That's so pretty. Yeah, those are going to work great. Now, I do want to back these tags with something because this is, it's a copy paper and it's a little bit stronger than regular copy paper, but it's not real, real thick. So I'm going to back these with something. Let's use some of this paper. This is that drawing paper. I know I always go back to that, but it's just the best thing when it comes to backing tags and things. Okay, now we can go ahead and trim these out. Okay, we have those trimmed out. And I'll decide which one I want which edge I want to trim off to make a little circle with. I'm not sure. Let's see. I think I might want to put that one like that. So I'm going to do a little, just a little corner round on this edge, like that, and then just put that ink right back on there, and tuck that one right there, like that, then, let's see, let's see if this has an up or a down, I don't know, let's try this one over here. So we will take this little edge off and then let's try this one here. So this little edge will come off. Like that. And then this one on this side and this little edge. So just trying them down in there, making sure they're going to fit right first. And then we'll ink all of these up and then we'll slide them down in the pockets. So we have those in there. So there are two there and two over here. And then we've got this nice pocket here that we can make a tag to go down in. So let's see, would that one work? Now nope, that's a little long. Let's see how long we need to make it. Um, let's cut it off right there. So let's see if this works. I hate to waste any of this paper, so I'm just gonna try to use this piece. It may be too short. If it is, then we can always come back and use another piece. But let's see if it is. We can put a little pull on it if we want to, or you can leave it as a little secret pocket. Let's see, might need to, no, that actually works, I think. I might trim it off a tiny, tiny bit. Ugh, my um, paper is stuck to my desk. It's desk cleaning time. I can always tell when it's time to clean my desk, and that's when everything starts sticking to it. 
And I just use the alcohol wipes, the sanitizing alcohol wipes that you can get in most stores. I know our Walmart has it around here. But that's what I use to clean my desk with. It, it, it cleans up all of that glue, cleans up all of your ink. It's nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and round these corners. This one is still not quite strong enough, so let's see if I have another piece of that paper that would, yep, that I could put a double on there. And I will just use my art glitter glue this time because I've already got one layer on there, so it's not going to show through. Oh, we did get in more of the 16 ounce art glitter glue, so all of you who were asking me about that, we got more in. It is terrible out there about manufacturers not producing a lot of raw products at this time. I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on in this world. Well, I do, but you know how that goes. I know it can't be helped, but it sure is hard on those of us who depend on them to to pay our bills. <laughs> okay. Well, they don't pay our bills, but getting their product and being able to sell it pays our bills. So. Okay, I'm going to round all of these corners because I love little tags that slide down in pockets like that that have all the corners around it. I just think it looks good. I'm going to round those. Then I'm just going to stick it right down in there. I think I'll put it in this way. And let's hope that it's the right size and I don't have to trim it. Um, I think I'm going to trim it just a tiny bit. And the reason is it's trying to bow up on me just a little bit. So that means that it's a little tight. So I'm just going to trim that edge off and then I'll just go back in with my little corner rounder and I'm trying to round this with the corners wet with ink so or with glue not ink so it makes it a little bit harder okay now oh yeah that goes down in there nice now and it's just the right size now if you don't want that to be a little hidden pocket you can put a little pull on that let's go ahead and grab a little pull and these are the ones that Betty sent me that she had cut out already so let's see if we have one that has some purple in it oh that one has a little purple need to put these in my other little container up there okay we'll use that one or that one I don't know which we'll see so let's pull this back out a little bit oh I think I'm gonna like that one better yeah I think so so let's pull that over give it a little burnish and then we're going to put a little bit of ink on there. Then we're going to tuck that in just like that. Isn't that cute? I love that. Oh my goodness. I love it. And see, that can either just clip into a journal. Let's say this is the journal page right here. That can either just clip on the edge of a journal so that you'll have both sides or you can tuck it down in a pocket or you can tuck it in a pocket this way cute because we want to have both sides we don't want to glue it down I love that I love it okay now we can look at this one this one should be glued well by now and it is there's that and these are glued down but see how much better I think the stitching makes it look I'm going to stitch on these real quick even though I put glue on them and just let you see the difference in the stitching not saying that you have to go out and buy a sewing machine you don't and even if you do if you're looking for a sewing machine don't buy an expensive one you don't need an expensive one find you one somewhere at Walmart or something that's like 50 or 60 bucks that's going to do everything that you need to do if all you're going to do is just you know a little bit of stitching on paper and a little bit of stitching on material that's going to do fine 
Okay, or find a used one somewhere. A lot of people sell them. Okay, so there is the stitching on that. I think it makes the world of difference. Um, but like I said, don't, I mean, look for a sewing machine that someone is getting rid of. You know, there's always some on uh, Etsy and eBay and places like that that you can purchase for, you know, 30 or 40 bucks. Don't go out and spend a lot of money on one, unless that's what you're going into. If you're just going to use your sewing machine to make a living, then you might need an expensive one. But, you know, mine, I think, years and years ago, it was a couple of hundred dollars, but I used mine for a long time for things other than stitching on paper. I made kids clothes and all kinds of stuff. So that's why mine was a little bit more expensive. Plus mine did some embroidering and uh, back then. I, don't, I couldn't do it now if I had to. I don't even remember how. All right, so that's that one. And let's take a piece of this paper and cut some tags for it. Let's see. I don't really want to cut a tag out of that same paper because it just looks too busy. So let's see what else we have over here. Okay, we've got some of this paint. That would look pretty. Let's go ahead and use it. This is from a collection that we got last year, Salutation. That should make, let's see, how big did we need to make that one? We need to make the one here. Uh, two and three quarters by five and a quarter. So two and three quarters by five and a quarter. Right there. And I don't, I'm not going to bother with which way I'm running it. Five and a quarter. I can always cover the back side. Now this is pretty thick cardstock, so I may not cover that with anything. But these, I do need to cut these at two and a half. These are the little tags that go on the front. And you don't have to make all your tags the same like I am. I'm doing this for the sake of the video. If I took my time and looked around my stash, I'd probably come up with something else to use. But I think these will be pretty and we can always embellish these. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to put all of these together and I'm going to try my best to corner around all four of them at one time. There we go. And then we'll do the corners on this one. Now we probably do need to cover the back of this with just something that you can write on. So, you know what? We can use that right there. Some of Betty's paper. And I could have done that before I cut my corners, but you know what? My Sometimes my brain thinks later than most people's. And sometimes my brain doesn't think at all. Sometimes, sometimes it goes on vacation. <laughs> Lots of times it goes on vacation. Now I'm just going to cut these corners off, square them off, and then I'll use my corner rounder to round the corners again. It's easier than trying to cut the corners around with my scissors. And yeah, I go back and forth from one corner rounder to the other, but I'm going to have to go back to this one because that one is not cutting them flush with that front paper. And this glue is still wet, so they're not wanting to cut exactly right, but that's okay. We can take our scissors and just trim this off. So I am very, very excited about the June kits. And I know you guys are going to be so excited too. I don't know how many of you know, and I'm going to give away, I'm going to give away a little bit of something right here. I'm going to give away a little trade secret. No, I'm going to give away a little secret that's what's going to be in the June kit. 
because since they're running a little bit late, I'll go ahead and tell you our secret, which I, I put part of this in the newsletter. So a lot of you may have put two and two together and know what's coming. But I know a lot of you know uh, or have been acquainted with Christopher Allen with Brutus Monroe. He has a company in, is it Philadelphia, Christopher? Oh, Lord, I can't remember now. Anyway, somewhere up there. And when our vendor didn't come through with our paper that we was planning on using for the June kit, I called Christopher and Michael. It's his, Michael is his, like, sales rep or I don't know exactly what Michael's title is. I'm sorry, Michael. I don't know what your title is. I just know you're a good guy. That's all I know. <laughs> but anyway, I called them and I said, is there anything you guys can do to help me out? I am desperate. Our paper that was supposed to be here on the 1st now says it will not be made even until the 22nd. And I said, I have got to get June kits out the door. And it wasn't but a little bit until Christopher come back and said, yeah, we can help you. He said, pick out a paper pad that you like. Our manufacturer is right down the road from us. We'll put it in. A, if we don't have them in stock, we'll put in a priority order and we'll get them for you. So part of them come. They had a few in stock, like 39. They shipped those. They came the next day. And then... They ordered the other ones on Saturday, and they're already done today. So he shipped them out today. So we'll have those by probably Thursday and be able to get. And we've got everything ready for kits. We're just waiting on the pads. So as soon as we get those, the kits will go out the door. So oh, that he, they saved our life. You know, I had already planned on moving to another country and changing my name. And <laughs> because I knew that I was going to have like 200 people after me. But, you know, I mean, it was one of those things that we couldn't help. We, uh, you know, they promised us, the manufacturer did, that they would have them made by the second of this month. And that was going to give us plenty of time to get them out by the sixth. And then they came back at last minute. I mean, I'm talking about last minute, the fifth. They can't, when I kept emailing them, they came back finally and said, oh, we've had a problem. We're not going to be able to get those out to you until the 22nd. And I'm like, that's too late. We can't, we can't do that. So, you know, friends come through, I'm telling you. Christopher Allen has been a friend of mine for many, many years. I knew him, I knew him when. I knew him, I knew him way before he, um... He started getting really big with his company, and he is very big with his company, and I'm so proud of him. He has, he has worked so hard. You know, he's like me. He started out in a little tiny room in his house, and he has just grown and grown and grown, and he's just now opened up a second location and warehouse, and I'm so proud of him. So, and I'm so proud that he is, that I can call him my friend. And when I need something that he is able to come through for me, he and Michael together, I'm not leaving out Michael. Michael has, you know, he's the one that I have talked back and forth with because Christopher is, you know, he's, he's busy as a bee. So they have both helped tremendously, and I appreciate them so, so much. So you guys are going to be getting a Christopher Allen or Brutus Monroe original paper pad. Yay! Can you believe it? Isn't that going to be exciting? We have not included one of his paper pads in our collections yet, or in our e-club kits yet. But you may see more of it. Because it is beautiful. I'm telling you, the paper pad is beautiful. And we have a designer working on some digitals to go along with. So I'm excited about that. Melina has all kinds of goodies already packed up in your little zipper pouch bag. So it is, it is exciting, but 
still, I'm very, very sorry that things happened the way they did and kits did not go out on the 7th like they should have. Um, you know, it, it just couldn't be helped. I mean, we did all that we could do. I had already paid for all of these and paid for them to be produced and manufactured and so it's it's been a little bit of a madhouse but you know things work out things work out the way they should and evidently this is the way it should have worked out in the beginning so i'm happy about that i just hope that you guys will will forgive us this time we've ever since we've been doing the e-club there's only been one other time that i had to delay them and that was uh, last year, I think. As a matter of fact, when COVID first hit, I had to delay them just a, a little while, not very long, just a few days, because I didn't get some of the product in. But I think that's the only time every other month we've got them out, you know, on or before the 6th of the month, which is when they are scheduled to ship. So if you guys will forgive us this time, we promise. We'll make it up to you. Melina's already working on making it up to you. She's already got some things in the works for the July kit that y'all are going to be so excited about. So just hang in there with us. We'll get there. We're like the tortoise and the hare. We'll get there eventually. Okay. Perfect. That tag fits perfect. But I am going to put a little... I have just talked your ears off at me. I am going to put... A little tag on there but I'm thinking a tag a little topper on it um, I'm thinking I might just make it out of this so let's just cut us one get the old punch that we've just about worn out completely <laughs> And we, again, have sold out of these punches. Um, we're trying our best to stay caught up, but you guys, as fast as we can get them made and put in bags and put up on the website, you guys are buying them. So it is, we'll, we will get more as soon as we can. We've got to get all this June kits and things straightened out first. And we may be making two different sizes when we put them up next. We may be making a smaller size and then the regular size. Just because there's a lot of times that I need a smaller one. When I put one on a little small pack of something or a little small tag, a lot of times that I need smaller ones. So I may make some that are a little bit smaller the next time. Okay. Now, I need to, before this video is over, I told you I would do it yesterday and I didn't get around to doing it. I need to go ahead and put up the winner of the little um, label printer. I, uh, oh, come on now. There we go. I wasn't sliding in right. I wasn't holding my mouth right. So there we go on those. Now, you could decorate these little tags up. And that would be cute and I may go back and decorate those up all right then on this one you have got this pocket this pocket this pocket and then you've got a pocket here a pocket here pocket there 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 and there and there so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11 pockets in this one. Isn't that amazing? You could tuck this in another pocket in your journal or just clip it on with a paper clip or something and have lots of little pockets and journaling room where you could pull those tags out and have the backs where you can journal on it and all that. Isn't that neat? I just love it. Thank you so much, Natasha. We'll go ahead and fold one more. We won't, we probably won't completely make it but we'll go ahead and fold another and, I, and I'm not even going to measure the size this time what I'm going to do is this right here this is a scrap and I'm just going to fold that over to those side edges meet right there like that 
and then I'm going to trim this off and then I'll know that this is square. So we're not going to measure this one. I don't know what size this may, might be. Um, we can see just for curiosity. This is actually, ooh, this is actually six and three quarters. So, but it's still a square. As long as you can meet it up like that, you still got a square there. And then we're going to do it this way. And then just pinch that. And then, if I can see, I'm going to go in there and right to there and right there. I'm just going to mark my center point. Throw that over. Throw this one over. And then this one. Pull that one up just a little bit more. I got a little bit of a space there. Okay, and then that one. Okay, there we go. We've got our folds right here, so we're gonna open these up, fold that over, and then crease that really well, like that. Okay, now is the point where you need to go ahead and ink if you're going to. Now, I don't think I'm going to ink this because it's pink and I think it's pretty the way it is. And it's also got this behind it, so I don't think I'm going to ink it. But you could go ahead and ink if you wanted to now. Or you could go ahead and do your stitching now if you want to. But I'm just going to glue these down. This is mainly showing you how to do this just one more time. So we'll glue that down like that. This one we're going to glue down. And run our glue all over our table. That's why my table gets so sticky. <laughs> and I've got all those little mats and things to put under there to keep the stickiness off, but I don't I don't like fooling with them. Okay. So there is our little pocket there. And then we can just run a stitch or glue down these sides. And I think I'm just going to run a stitch real quick. Okay, I had someone that messaged me the other day and showed me a picture of her stitching like that, where it's all bundled up and asked me what was wrong with her sewing machine. Well, that's not your sewing machine. That's actually you. <laughs> I might like mine did it right then. If you don't hold those threads when you start off, then the threads are going to bunch up like that. That's the bobbin thread and it'll bunch up. So just make sure that you hold your threads back when you start off. You know, these are the threads. Hold them back like that when you start off and it won't do that. So that is, that solves that problem. A lot of times I just forget to do it or I just don't want to do it and I'm too lazy to do it or whatever. <laughs> but, and that time I just didn't want to do it. But there is another quick and easy Sweet little pockets. You got a pocket there, pocket there, pocket here, pocket there, and a pocket there. And we could use some of these to put down in these pockets or some of these because that would be cute, would it not? Okay, let's go ahead and do it. You know, I can't leave something half finished. I have to finish, and I'll just try to cut out as many parts of this video as I can so that it won't be so long for you guys. I just hate having things half finished. I like If I can finish them, I like to go ahead and finish them up. And most of the time I can. Sometimes there's things that hinder me, but most of the time I can. Even if I have to finish it once I get off camera, I like to go ahead and get it done. And then as soon as I get through with this, I will pull that video up and we'll go ahead and draw for our winner. Now, I am going to, let me find, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead, this is going to be tiny, tiny right here. Oh, I made those two and a half. 
probably gonna have to cut those little tags down too. I have forgot that this is smaller than my other ones that I made. Okay, let's see what size our little tags. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to cut them down. See what size they need to be. They need to be two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So we just need to cut them down a little bit. Oh, and we do have more of these in stock for anyone out there who was asking me about them. I can't remember to email you back and I, and I don't really have time to email you back. So if you're wanting something and you send me an email and say, will you please tell me when those are back in stock? I just don't have time to do that. I would love to, but I don't have time. So if you'll just either watch you know get our newsletter pay attention to the newsletter because I try to always put things in there that are back in stock or watch the website we do we put things there that are back in stock or watch my videos and usually I tell you when things are back in stock that people have been asking for oh uh, look now I'm inking these and I didn't ink that other hmm don't know what that's gonna look like but we're already into it now I'm just going to put a little bit just on the edges just where I trimmed it basically okay now I would put something on the back of these but I'm not going to right this minute two and a quarter two and a quarter Ooh, I may have cut the wrong sides on some of these let's see no maybe not Well, really, they needed to be two, I think, because those are kind of lapping over in the center, but we're going to leave them for right now. You guys get the gist of what I'm doing? Yeah, I would probably cut them at two, just to keep them from lapping over in the middle, unless that's the look that you're going for, and if it is, then, then there you go. There we go. Okay, now we can put our little tag in the middle. And again, I don't think I'm going to put a backing on this right now. I'll do it later when I start to use it. But this is just getting you another one done. And I'm going to put this. I'm going to make a little tag out of this and put it on there. Oh, come on. that tags I mean that punch says let me rest please now see on this one I would definitely use a smaller little punch if I had one so that's why I'm thinking that I'm gonna make some that are a little bit smaller shrink it up a little bit and <laughs> there again ink and no ink I'm good at that right this is inked and that's not so I'm gonna need to ink around that a little bit let's see if it fits Yes, it does. It fits. Perfect. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And then you could also put some little things right here. You could um, cut out some little flowers or a little butterfly or something and put it right here. I don't think I have anything that's really tiny right here. Right here at my hands. Let's see. No, I don't think I have any little ones in Betty's. But, you know, just a little, like a little flower like that. Just something small to go on there would be cute. So you could do that on the sides. And then, like I said, you can either clip this in or you can just tuck it into a pocket. But quick and easy. Cute little pockets. Now, right. I said I was going to draw for the winter, did I not? All right, but let's draw for the winter before we go. Uh, YouTube random comment picker. Okay, you can see it's been a little while since I've done this. Enter YouTube URL here. All right, so let's go to YouTube. Let's go to our channel. Let's find that video, which is that one right there and let's do a no let's do a share and copy link 
and then go back and let's paste that link right there let's see how that works all right how do I use filter duplicates uh, no we don't want to include replies okay get YouTube comment all right we're ready so we've got our YouTube in there no 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 get YouTube comments now what it's gonna do is it's gonna go and pull all of those comments from that YouTube video and it's 283 and then we're just gonna start and it'll pick out one Terry Saxton Terry you are the winner of the little label maker and she says I would love to have one of those for free <laughs> All right. All right, Terry, if you will send us an email with your mailing address, then addressed with your mailing address, then I will get it to the company that sent us the little label maker and I will have them to send the label maker directly to you. That's the way that they do. They, do, you know, they don't send it to me and then I send it to you. They do all of that process, all of that from their company. All right. We will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your comments. And thanks, Terry. Congratulations. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.